All right, so in today's video, we will be making templates out of cardboard for the electronics tray, the seat, and the rear fairing. Also, if you haven't already, check out custommotorsportprints.com. I'm also thinking of adding a feature where you could just upload the image of your motorcycle, car, truck, and it would just be of the raw photo, like just the photo you took, you upload it, and we'll just put it straight onto a canvas or, um, or a poster, whatever you'd like. Um, so that way there's an option of having it done like this, or just the plain picture that you took on your phone or camera, and that way you could have more options. But yeah, definitely check it out. And I'm gonna show you guys the, the garage, the new garage, real quick. Obviously, obviously way more room um, but this is a Honda VTX 1300 so we, this got to this has got to get running before well it runs just very rough um, this has got to get running before for the summertime which it already kind of is summer um, my bike and then all these will be for sale obviously not the tank but all this stuff I mean if, if you want it it's all in good condition um, send me a, like a message on Facebook Messenger, we got a table, all the tools set up, this is going to be fun, I think I wired this up correctly, so after we make all these templates and get the electronics in that tray here, um, we'll plug all this stuff in and see if I did this correctly, um, also this, no idea how to do the neutral relay, um, so I'm going to be messaging on uh, now I'm going to ask in the BMWK group on Facebook. Um, new master cylinder, rear master cylinder. Shout out to the previous owner for sending me that. And then we got the picture hanged up. And we got all the LED lights. That one's kind of like a heat lamp, so that's pretty cool. Um, and this is what I use to hold up my phone. So I'm gonna plug this one in too. But I don't even think I'm gonna need this light anymore. But yeah, I hold my phone with that. Uh, the rims. This is the aluminum that we'll be using. But yeah, I think that's everything. A lot better. So much more room, this is awesome. Um, but yeah, let's get to making this. I already cut this piece. The length, so yeah, let's just let's just have fun with this. Get creative with it. All right, so this is the idea so far. What we got? Well, this is this is a very rough template. Um, but yeah. so we have a hole in there for the wires that have to come out underneath. Um, we'll have a hole there for the main ECU wire, and then we'll have this notch here for all these fuses and relays, and those will be in there instead of having a box that you know that won't look as good. I think this will look a lot smoother. Um, and then the ECU will go here. Obviously we'll put it on its original. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, there we go. I got it. And the ECU will be in here. <laughs> and start it as far as possible. And obviously there's a hole here because there are two wires that come down and they'll be ran along this this pipe, this this piece of the frame here. Um, they'll run down there so they're a little bit more hidden. And then we'll get a this is the battery we have. It's I think it's almost pretty damn new, yeah. It's really good AGM, but it's big and it's heavy. So 
we will get a smaller lithium-ion battery and this needs to be cut off a uh, smaller lithium-ion battery and we'll modify this train tray to get this piece off of here um, and we'll lay the we will lay the lithium-ion battery flat and then that should give it a more open feel like it will be more open it will be pretty much you can see right through and uh, and then of course the plug will be plugged in here and then all this will be gone so it's gonna be kind of cut like that at the same angle as this piece there and then and then yeah just under there all right so this is what it's looking like I'm going to try to make this a little bit more organized, so it's not just thrown in there. Um, but it's it's very tight, so it's going to be difficult. Um, but yeah, everything fits. I think I went with the right depth. I think I went with 4 inches down. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, and then, now I'll just make the rear fairing out of cardboard. It's gonna be something like this. It's gonna be... Actually, no, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I have to hold... I have to have two hands to do that. Or I'll just make it and then I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah. It's looking pretty good. All right, so this is the main idea of how I want it to look. Um, obviously, I don't want it to look this boxy. Um, I want, like, see how it's rounded like that? Not that round, because, um, but, yeah, I want it to be more rounded up here, round, and rounded out, pretty much. But this is a rough template of how it will look. And then I do want, so, seat will be like this. All right, that'll be one piece of the seat, then a second piece of the seat will be here. Kind of going along with the, the curve. There, there'll be another piece of seat here. And then, or, there'll be a thin piece that goes like this, and like this, out to this point. There'll be another seat. So there could be a second seat here. And the main seat here. And then for the tail light, this is the tail light we have. I showed you guys this in the previous video. Obviously, this is a very rough template, like very rough template. But the light will be in here, kind of like that. And of course, we blocked up. Oh shit. Okay, it's fine. Um, but yeah, obviously, this will be blocked off in a single LED. Like that. <laughs> this is a, such a bad template. Oh my. Well, it's not a good template. It's just like a mock up. Actually, it's a better way to say it. So, this is a rough mock up. The template will be. It will have to be exact um, before we move on to making it have the aluminum. Um, but yeah, single LED to retail it like that. And then the turn signals. I'll show you guys how the turn signals will go on. Alright, so this is how I kind of want the turn signals to be, probably more upright, like that. Um, but yeah, this is like, kind of a mock-up of how it'll be. Yeah, definitely need to be straight up and down. And um, these have to be blocked off. I wanted to originally go with the turn signals that set inside here, but I kind of like this more. And not to be kind of upright like that. Um, but yeah. That's kind of, obviously it can't be this boxy because it looks so bad. Um, it'll have to be rounded out once it's done with the aluminum. Um, and then, yeah, as you can see here, the bottom of this line is going to be even with this line. Um, this right here, all 
all the same angle. This is all the same angle. Um, and then I'm thinking, instead of this being like that, straight, it's gonna have the same angle as these pieces at the rear here, so like that. So, that's how it's looking. And then for the seat, I think I already showed you guys that piece. And then I think the license plate will fit perfectly here. If that would be legal. <laughs> Hopefully this isn't too... Uh, no, I think this would be good. Hopefully. I'll... Before... Yeah. I'll ride the bike with it like this. Hopefully I don't get pulled over. Um, but no, this should be... This should be legal. Um, and it's pretty cool. It fits perfectly right here. Boom. Bolt it in. And then have a... Um, one of the like, little white LED lights for the license plate like that. And yeah, it'll look very clean. So yeah, that's, I think that's where the plate's gonna go. Before I thought I might have to do it like here, something like that, but no, this, it kind of fits perfectly right here. It's just meant to be. It's gonna look real clean, but yeah. Yeah, so that's how, as you guys saw, that's how the rear fairing is gonna look like. Um, the rear seat. I want to have two seats on it. Um, but yeah, no, definitely, definitely, next thing is gonna have to be just getting the frame off the bike. I still. I'm trying to, you know, not do it. I was trying to make it like the last thing to do, but it can, it's gotta come off, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, that's probably the next video, but. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like this series so far, subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. 